hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, in this video um, I would introduce you the very famous uh, simulation software for electronic circuits that is the Proteus the Proteus is the uh, very useful uh, simulation tool that is very common in uh, graduate students and professionals for simulating and verifying the circuit uh, operations and functions so this Proteus tool is very different from the LT Spice uh, because this uh, Proteus uh, simulation software has the very powerful graphic uh, interface and also this uh, graphical interface is very uh, useful in terms of viewing the uh, oscilloscope and waveforms and uh, other types of analysis it is very very powerful tool also in this uh, Proteus software we can uh, simulate the uh, microcontroller as well in the um, if I write here uh, microprocessors I see like pick PIC microcontroller um, as you all know that PIC microcontroller is also a very commonly used microcontroller in commercial electronics and uh, other uh, electronics industries like industrial electronics and commercial electronics we can simply use any type of PIC microcontroller either it is 16F or 12F and uh, there are other uh, microcontrollers as well like MSP430 and uh, various other AVR family is also available a very vast variety of microcontrollers are available this is uh, unlike the LT Spice software in LT Spice we cannot use the microcontrollers we can simply simulate the analog circuits while in the Proteus software we can simulate the 8051 ARM AVR and PIC microcontrollers my expertise are actually in uh, microchip pick microcontrollers 16F and 12F series so I usually use this the, this library and it really helped me a lot so in this video I am actually not talking about the microcontroller programming and circuits but I will show you the another uh, important um, feature of this software simulation software that is it can interface with your peripherals of your computer or laptop like um, in this uh, simulation I would design a power amplifier based around the LM386 power amplifier audio power amplifier this LM386 is an audio power amplifier and can output a 1 watt of audio output okay so <clears throat> you will see that the audio output from this power amplifier would come from my uh, computer speaker and I would design a circuit around this LM386 ok so let's start I have already opened uh, the LM386 circuit I found on internet online this this circuit I am going to implement on LM386 and show you how the Proteus would output the audio signal from the speaker that is 8 ohm speaker so let's place this is the parts library of the Proteus let's write speaker type speaker so it has given us three types of speaker that is buzzer and that is sounder and speaker we are not going to use buzzers or sounders because they are, are uh, single tone I am going to use a speaker that is commonly used in audio products ok the speaker could be 4 ohm or 8 ohm or 16 ohm commonly used uh, speaker uh, speakers are 8 ohm speakers so I would play, uh, keep it as it is now let's place the comp components 100 microfarad capacitor radial electrolytic radial electrolytic types of capacitors are the polar capacitors 
and comes in a variety of voltage rating i would choose 16 volt because our voltage would not exceed above 16 volt so that would be it uh, we will place it here wire it out now 0.47 microfarad capacitor we can choose this non-polar capacitor type a 10 ohm resistor you can simply write 10 R here and it would give you options resistor and go into 0.6 metal film light up also and here we can have power ground and other types of input output nodes I would select the ground node and wire it up also now a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer a potentiometer we write part HG high granularity high granularity part and it would show it here the very uh, good thing in this Proteus simulation software is that you can vary this uh, you can move this uh, potentiometer variable pin uh, during the simulation so this uh, enables you to see the uh, response of the circuit during simulation by varying the part to various points that is 53%, 54% or maybe 100%, 92% or 13%, 5% so I would keep the 50% default ok but this is not in like in the LT spice. Uh, this option is only available in Proteus. Now let's connect this with the op-amp. Move this drag, place here, connect this positive pin and connect the other pin to the ground. Now connect the 0 0.22 microfarad capacitor Now place the signal source This is the signal source generator mode I would select the sine wave The sine wave would be a single tone and I would select a Sorry. I would select a 1 kilohertz tone and at an amplitude of 100 millivolt. Okay, 0 0.1 volt means 100 millivolt and 1 kilohertz tone. Now place a 100 microfarad capacitor on the negative pin. Radial electrolytic 100 microfarad. 16 volt ok now connect uh, pin number 4 with the ground this ground and connect pin number 6 to the supply pin number 6 is supply we would select the power supply to be 12 volt like where it is 12 volt right now pin 1 and 8 are left now let's see what this pin and pin number 1 and 8 is now here they have given three options a, a capacitor and a capacitor and resistor combination so I would go with the 
option A that is a capacitor of 10 microfarad connected between pin number 1 and 8. So, a 10 microfarad capacitor, sorry, 10 microfarad capacitor connected between pin number 1 and 8. Pin number 1 is positive. Remember, this terminal is the positive terminal of the capacitant protease, while the other terminal that is this dashed line dashed line this is the negative terminal of the capacitor remember this okay so now our circuit is complete i think now we can run the simulation okay so this is a 10 kilo ohm part we would uh, edit the properties and write it a 10 kilo ohm right now let us simulate this Okay, here I forgot to connect ground to the speaker. Yes, now let's simulate. Do you hear the voice? Okay, if now I would increase this potentiometer knob to the maximum, so the voice, so the sound would increase. The sound has not decreased here. I will increase my system volume. Now it would be much easier to understand. You see, as I am changing this potentiometer now, the sound is increasing. And now as I decrease the potentiometer, the sound diminishes away. At 0% the sound is away, diminished away and as I increase, sound increases. Now as I change the frequency to let's say 2 kilohertz the sound would become more uh, sharp see so this is the protease simulation software and uh, it has many many options for simulation here in the analog IC section you the, you have many many available ICs you have amplifiers, comparators, display drivers, multiplexer, regulator, timer, voltage references so you can select any IC with respect to your application needs and can simulate the circuit very easily also here you can place the label uh, 2d graphics text for your schematics or simulation i would write lm 386 power audio power amplifier you can increase the size of this to 0.2 okay and click here this a very beautiful looking schematics has been developed and there are other many options like oscilloscope you can place oscilloscope and see the waveform output waveform and the input waveform also let's see the waveforms here as you can see this is the output signal and the blue color channel is the input signal it has this also so has four channels so at the blue channel the input is coming but it is not showing anything because the scale is very high i would decrease the scale now you can see the signal now at the same scale i would go to the channel a 
and as you can see the signal has been very much high I would adjust the input signal on the center zero voltage reference of the AC signal output and now as you can see now you can clearly see the signal has been amplified very much this is the input signal blue and this is yellow is the output signal so i hope this video was useful for you guys and you got a very basic uh, initial information about the proteus simulation software please like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel more content is upcoming and i want your support to help my channel grow thank you for watching thank you for your time